This is the Sea of Thought exhibit by Benjamin Arzmendi, yours truly, at Joyce Gordon Gallery here in downtown Oakland through July 31st. We're going to talk about some of the paintings here, and the show will be here until the end of the month. The first painting here is entitled Fading. Nice interplay of digital paint, photography, great texture on board and traditional paint, quite a bit of oil as well. Some of it thinned out by paint thinner. Great texture on the water. Really like the blues on this one. This one is called Processed Illusion. Also a mixed media piece. Has a plenty of uh, digital paint, traditional paint, oil, and this is on a metal surface. Quite a bit of texture here you can see up close the digital component and a lot of it scratched out as well intentionally nice piece processed illusion this piece is called the absurdity of coincidence and uh, also mixed media photographic this is on a wood surface and you can see some of the detail of photography in the background with some rusted features uh, great colors and and this is a digital painting it's called influencing outcomes it has some physics on it some equations uh, by a young physicist great colors great interface of uh, digital work this is 100% digital it does have acrylic overlay on photo paper just love this piece great colors this piece was a commission for my friends Gary Patterson and for Francisco Hernandez, great friends of mine, commissioned this piece for their lovely home in Sebastopol. Um, this is digital paint, acrylic, oil on canvas. Um, very complex texture. Some of the digital paint and the digital features are still visible on the canvas some great drips, some great colors that went very well with their amazing home. They were very kind to loan me this piece, which is dead center of the gallery. One of the more popular pieces here, uh, Lake Merritt. This is a digital painting. It's based on a digital collage uh, of the Lake Merritt area. For those of you familiar with Lake Merritt, you can see the courthouse, the water, super great composition, really exciting painting. Another digital piece, this one's called Seen Enough to Know. Great seascape, great colors, uh, almost rainbow-like. Amazing uh, texture here that uh, is enabled by elongating a series of photographs. Love this one. This one's called Your Ocean Changed for Good. Another seascape, water view, a bit more abstract. It has some detail here that remains from an original photograph. It was taken near the Dumberton Bridge here in the Bay Area. Very central piece. Hard to appreciate some details with the reflection, but quite lovely. 30 by 34 inches. This one has a bit more of a classical look to it. It does have digital paint photography and plenty of oil this one's on a metal surface it has a more traditional look but if you look closely you can see some of the digital features at the top of the sky that are directly in the metal and then you have some very cool sort of foggy looking stuff near the center love this one this piece was originally not hung in the show although it is called Sea of Thought, like the show. Uh, the reason it wasn't hung was because it has a little bit more of a traditional impressionistic uh, feel to it. Pretty large, about 48 by 52. Uh, great textures, 100% oil on canvas. Very lovely painting. This one from 2019 is called You Revisited. 48 by 60, acrylic on canvas. 
great composition. Uh, I almost didn't include this one in the show, and then it suddenly became a central piece. Um, a lot of interesting figures in the composition. Very entertaining piece. This one here is called Quantum Circuit, and this is derived from some of the work that I did at UC Berkeley Physics Department. And up close you can see a digital rendition of a quantum circuit. Yeah, and in the background is, is preserved some symbols too from math that is, you can't really see very much, but then they've been covered up with acrylic and oil on a foam board surface, um, which is very resistant. And I do my print jobs at a sign store and then paint on top of them. Beautiful piece. This could be one of my favorites. Also a big favorite of mine, Last Chance. The reason I called it Last Chance was because <laughs> the canvas that was used for making this piece was the last canvas before Aaron Brothers went out of business on Shattuck here in Berkeley. Wonderful, drippy, decorative, very emotional. And this is one of my only diptychs. It's called Made for Each Other. Great piece, two of them together. Originally it was not intended for them to be together and then somehow there was a flow between them. And putting them together made a lot of sense. Also very decorative, incredible piece. It's a lot of texture, acrylic. It does have acrylic and uh, oil on top and a fair amount of wood varnish as well. This is one of my first manipulations of metal and it's comprised of three pieces. It's called the Plasticity of Formality. It has two-sided printed digital work and photographic work printed on metal. Uh, it's double-sided, so you have some equations here dealing with engineering, engineering and clean energy grids. So double-sided print job with acrylic that was scratched out on top. And then you have a third piece in the background where you can see my eye. So I had another piece that was a digital collage that the metal was pasted onto. This is definitely a new direction. Very excited about it. This piece is a little older, back from 2018. Not that old. Um, internal panorama. Big piece, 48 by 72. It's on canvas, digital paint, acrylic, and oil. Uh, and it has a digital collage that you can see a little bit from here also with some faded physics from a study that this was originally for. In fact, this study, this painting, was the study for this painting, which I already showed. Always good to work with a study. This piece here, working with photography and oil on top on a metal surface. This was going to be the original surface for this piece, but then there was a change of plans and I enjoyed this one in its own right. So there's some acrylic pieces here on top of photographic manipulations of a water scene and then you have the dripping oil with paint thinner on the metal surface. It's called Alternative Explanation. This piece is also on metal, Alternative Explanation. It's a recent piece and this is an attempt to do these mixed media pieces on metal surface and then selectively adding paint on top. Um, this is part of a series that was done for the University of Washington Clean Energy Institute and uh, in collaboration and inspiring, inspired by some of those folks. And we have Entanglement. This is a digital piece, 24 by 30 inches. A little bit unusual 
in that um, the color and the technique is a little different from the others. Extremely colorful and vibrant. Uh, great piece. This back area of the exhibit has a variety of digital prints, which I made three of each. And they're either 11 by 14 or 8 by 10. And uh, I am posting these up close. Um, there's some great detail on some of them. And the reflection makes the video a little bit less productive. But there's many of them here. Very nice pieces. Here we have uh, two of my pieces from collaborations, one of Berkeley and one uh, from uh, actually someone that was at Stanford, uh, an NYU professor. And part of my older um, pieces in art science. Um, on wood, fair amount of texture on these. And these may be familiar to folks that have followed my work and over the last couple of years. This last piece as well, on loan, from Brett Dickey and Marcy Gutierrez, who own this painting. Uh, and it has equations by the one and only Merritt Moore. This one has equations from the one and only Yvette Fuentes, both physicists, uh, both friends. And so this is it for the Sea of Thought exhibit, Joyce Gordon Gallery, 406 14th Street here in downtown Oakland. Uh, excited to see as many of you as possible here. We had a great opening and we had a great artist talk.